Hello everyone, with David Sam's Chuck Underwood from the Super Roller Dome where the skaters of Roller Games International are chomping at the bit for a shot at this brand new concept in a track. Just wait till you see these skaters take on the 14-foot high wall of death. It could be devastating. And the sky jump. And yes, the live alligator pit used during sudden death overtime. Chuck, that could be devastating. Well, as witnessed about an hour ago, when the best laid plans of alligators and men went awry, beneath the bleachers here in the dome, the reptiles rebelled, they were loose, and in came that one-man security force, David, in that distinctive uniform of his. Well, no doubt about it. The guy who spotted these giant lizards is the man responsible for them in the first place. There he is right there. They call him Animal, the fearless master of a roller gator. He wasted no time in getting this situation under control. Thank heavens, who knows what could have happened. Well, the inclusion of the Gators in the sport has been controversial, and it has divided the house. But by a 4-2 to two vote, the teams of roller games have chosen to include the reptiles, but only in a sudden death overtime. And we're not yet sure what the ramifications of that will be. We'll have to wait and see. It's never been used before. Unbelievable! It could be devastating! 80 to 80! So the game has ended in an 80-all tie. Sudden death will determine which team gets this Commissioner's Cup. Sudden death involves the controversial element of the alligators. Well, Chuck, we're bringing a new meaning to the term sudden death because, I'll tell you, it could be devastating if one of those players gets in that alligator pit. The whole league is split on this issue. Half the league wants the pit, half of it doesn't. Basically, the bad guys want it, the good guys do not. And it's been an ongoing controversy. But I'm scared to death to see what happens when one of these team's specialty players, the Gator Skaters, falls into the pit. It could be absolutely devastating. And right on cue, here come the Gators. And so, with the T-Birds and Violators tied at 80 at the end of regulation, here very simply are the two rules of sudden death overtime. Specially designated Gator skaters can win it for their team in one of two ways. By simply winning a six-lap sprint, or by tossing the other team's Gator skater into the pit. David Sams has gone down to trackside. Chuck, it's unbelievable down here. Look at those Gators. There are four of them in the pits. There are three seven-footers and one big ten-footer known as Roller Gator. There he is right there. Look at those teeth. Both teams have been cleared to the outside of the track. They are lining the rail, cheering on their designated Gator skaters. And here we go in sudden death. Each skater wearing a ceremonial sudden death hood. We don't know how they're going to play it, but they're now showing us that rather than win the lap, they're going to try to wrestle each other over that rail and into the pit. On the first lap, neither seems to be getting any leverage, so no, they'll clear out and try a second lap. T-Bird twins looking on. And again, as they approach the pit, the wrestling begins. Down goes the T-Bird Gator Skater. Now the, now the Violator's got him by the shirt. He's got him up to the rail. He's pulling him up. Oh, the T-Bird went in. Fight that Gator. Get away from him. It could be devastating. Get that man out of the pit. I can't believe what we're witnessing here tonight. Chuck, you know, I saw the skull distract that T-Bird Skater. I believe that these Violators have cheated. But they have won in sudden death overtime. Come on, get out of there, buddy! A victory lap for the Violator, a roll over the top, apparently uninjured for the T-Bird Gator Skater. The Commissioner's Cup goes to the team in black. Well, this whole alligator thing is just ridiculous, David. Who ever heard of a sports competition being decided with an animal? It's ridiculous. I've heard from the ASBCA. I hear Bob Barker's even trying to get in touch with it. The whole thing got snuck through by the likes of a skull and a hoss and, a, and, and, and those people. And even, and even Lopez got sucked into the thing. This is terrible. Obviously, we'll see these two teams at it again. Back to you, Chuck. 
All right, David. And given what you told us about Stroll distracting the T-Bird Gator Skater, we have perhaps just seen a classic definition of Stroll Duggery. But to the victor go the spoils, and in the middle of that chanting group lies the Commissioner's Cup. The Violators have prevailed, taking this championship series, but the slate is now clean. With the cut decided, we begin next week a fresh new series that will bring together once again, and in the ensuing weeks, the six teams of roller games. And perhaps to their benefit, the T-Birds will be able to hop quickly back into the saddle. Next week, they will be taking on Bad Attitude. A quick chance for redemption after today's painful defeat.